Steak and Caesar. It is the most natural pair on the culinary universe. And this is a great way to do it because it gives a little bit of flair on the plate for something very simple and straightforward. Listen, I love to make my own rubs and I'm gonna make one here for you, pretty straightforward. I've got some paprika, which actually this one is a little bit of smoked paprika. Some regular paprika, sweet. Chili powder. Pepper. A little bit of cayenne, you gotta watch that because it's gonna be real hot. And a trick, some mustard powder. Now, this is straightforward steak rub. Now, if you notice, I didn't put any salt in it. And the reason why I like to do that is because the salt will pull that moisture out of the meat. So I like to keep the salt separate. This way you can rub down the steaks, forget about them for an hour, come back, salt them, and then get them on the grill. Now we're inside, so we're gonna do the inside grill. But this is how easy it is. And the reason why they call it rub here is we wanna rub it in. So flip those steaks over. Rub it in. And that's that. I'm gonna make a real simple cheese taco. And it's as simple as this. Take great Parmesan cheese. See how it's grating down like that. And that's really it. A little bit of flour in there, dusting it. And the reason why you want to flour this is that it will help that cheese from just running in an oil slick when it goes into the oven. And just take a baking sheet, you say a non-stick lining pan, and that's really it. I'm saying about seven inch circle, down in the oven. Take a wooden dowel, rolling pin, just get it up off the counter, and you'll see. It'll just start to set up on its own. And that is cheese taco. You know what, I'll get the dressing out of the way, show you how easy it is. A couple of egg yolks, a couple of cloves of garlic, some capers. Now anchovies is a personal taste. I like them, so I'll use three. If you don't like them, don't use them. If you like more than that, I think you're crazy. A little bit of lemon juice, salt, pepper, That's all mixed together. Now put a bit of canola oil in. Now this canola oil is right out of the freezer. And that's the trick. Freezing the canola oil will help emulsify. And I haven't put in the red wine to the very end, because I'm gonna show you right here. See how tight this is? Super tight. Now, The flavor's great, but a little bit of acid, and I'm just talking about a little drop of red wine. We'll bring that all together. And that is it. That's how difficult Caesar dressing is. It's not supposed to look white and anemic. There's egg yolks in here. So it's supposed to be this color anchovies, capers, all the flavors are in there. It's thick, it's super flavorful, and when people taste this, they know it doesn't come out of a jar. Time to cook some steaks. This is how quick it is. Take some olive oil, onto those steaks. Now you can put a bit of salt on there. Muck them up, just around, just make sure it's all oiled. I know the steaks are ready to go on the grill because the rub has turned bright, bright red. That's what I'm looking for. We've salted them up. Now again, we're cooking this inside because we're inside. But this is a great steak and Caesar dish to do on the grill. People always ask me, how long do I, how long do I cook steaks? Well, you cook them as long as you want them. If you like medium rare, cook them to medium rare. Every grill is going to be different. They're all different heats. So you really got to cook some steaks, poke around, cut them open, see what you like, 
and it is, uh, it's, it's something that's learned. That's how you get great at grilling steaks. You just grill a lot of them. But most important, you got to let the steaks rest. Just bring them off to the side. Somewhere warm but not hot. This should be great. I'll put them over here. And really, just putting this dish together. It's as easy as getting your romaine. Go down. And once you've opened up that center of the romaine, just make this your hearts. So run it long. And as long as you've got sort of slivers of the romaine, this is going to work for the Caesar taco. A little bit of dressing. Take your tongs. And you just want the wetness of that romaine to actually cream the Caesar dressing. And that is exactly what's happening in this bowl. Dressing is done. Let me clear off my cutting board here quickly. the steak. In restaurants, the reason why we cut steak like this is just so we can charge you more money. At home, cut steaks like this because it looks great on the plate. So we're just going to fan that out a bit. And listen, let's get this out of the way. Here's the actual taco. I really just want to lay that in. A couple of lemon wedges. But what you've end up doing is taking steak and Caesar salad and brought it to a whole new level. You saw how simple it is. Making a homemade dressing, make your own spice rub, and wow them at the table with this.